Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks everyone for subscribing and coming back every day. I truly appreciate it. I do personal readings, so if you'd like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my um, booking site, okay? Um, so yeah, Virgo, we're going to do the Celtic Cross. Take a look at the love energies for you. This reading will be 24 hours from the time you listen, and it could play out throughout the month of August. So let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for you. Okay, past position, Five of Swords, present. Hierophant, the challenge, the Ace of Swords, driving the reading is the Tower. Crowning is the Queen of Cups, the near future, the, um, the Fool, <laughs> Two of Wands in the position of your advice. What's external to you is the High Priestess or the other person, Hopes and Fears, Ten of Pentacles, and the outcome is the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands. Okay, let's see what the love messages are here for you, Virgo. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, please show Virgo their love messages. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising. Stay optimistic about your love life and codependency. You know, I have to tell you something, Virgo. I was driving today and I was thinking about this word, codependency. And I remember, I thought to myself, wow, this card has not shown up in... Um, I can't remember the last time I saw this card in any of your readings, and lo and behold, here it is. So I feel like somebody here has got an addiction of some sort, codependency, is addicted to a person, okay? This is usually what this means. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? Codependency, it's like someone has an addiction and their person is addicted to them. It's like co-addicted. This is what I feel like is happening here. Um, now, this could very well be you, but it could also be the person in question that you're having this reading for. So, you know, not that you're addicted to something, but you both, somebody is suffering because of somebody else's actions, okay? And the difficulty here is to not be affected by somebody else's actions or behaviors or choices, all right? Major, major thing, okay? Um, because codependency can come with manipulation, trying to get another person to do something or to act a, a particular way to meet their needs, but it's done with manipulation. It's not done it's like instead of live and let live and just allowing things to play out the way they're meant to or just allowing the situation to be somebody here is like dependent on somebody else okay um now hopefully i made i gave you clarity about that it's just that whatever somebody else is doing the other person is doing it as well Okay, but trying, um, it, all right, so let me just back up here. Okay, so if you've got, if you're with somebody that has any kind of addiction going on, okay, um, whatever it might be, there's a third party, and that third party, they could, somebody could be addicted to sex, drugs, alcohol, gambling, work, whatever it might be, and the other person is kind of like the third, the third wheel in this and the other person is trying to get their needs met but they are manipulating the person who has the addiction to like it's almost like maybe giving more over giving doing extra going enabling behavior that kind of stuff okay um so whatever the situation is, it could be you. Somebody could have come into a relationship already with codependent behaviors, codependency behaviors, okay? But stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? I do feel, regardless of what I just said, the person that you're connecting with has codependent behavior and maybe is just somebody who cannot let you go, okay? 
but is also in this position of trying to think positively that something between the two of you can work out. Now, maybe Virgo, you cut somebody out or you ended something in the past with someone and you may have just did a complete shutout. Okay, just a complete cutoff. See how he's holding three swords. Um, now, maybe somebody left you and then you made, uh, you did the same thing like in return, instead of chasing after or trying to get somebody to do something, you may have just said, nope, that's it. Goodbye then. See ya. I'll take my ball and go home. Um, and this also could have happened in reverse, but either way, it kind of feels like it's your energy. Virgo, I feel like in the present, you're standing in a very structured, stable place. So I feel mostly this person is staying optimistic about connecting with you or getting get, uh, having a romantic relationship, but it's coming out of codependency. It's not, is it because they truly love you? I don't know, but it feels more like a need than it does just, uh, just plain love. It's more like a need, okay? Virgo, okay, so we have Taurus, we have Scorpio, um, we have um, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, okay. So right now the Hierophant is here and this is really just a message in the present for you to get structured. This is what I feel like, to get structured, to align, realign with good traditions, good a good moral code, um, get yourself in a good healthy behavioral place. Now, the Hierophant, it can represent conformity and I feel like there's a need here to conform to some type of truth or something some of you might be getting some kind of if you have codependent stuff going on some of you might be taking a look at that right now and getting um, maybe some therapy or counseling or healing or it could be your person as well um, but give me just a second here because I need to sort something out here. There's some messages coming in and just give me a second. There was definitely in the past some type of ending, some type of break. There might have been abuse. There might have been abuse in a relationship or bullying. Um, let's get a clarifier card. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Somebody left a connection, okay? Now, it could have been you or it could have been another person, okay? But I'm not going to really just... I feel like this is you, honestly, Virgo. I, I do. I feel like you just, at some point, either yesterday or the day before, whatever, you just walked away from something, took a break. You cut somebody out. The Eight of Cups, temporary separation withdrew got your your strength back okay took the control back the power back which is what the eight is all about and i feel like you just either you abandoned a relationship or somebody or just left something okay withdrew retreated and now you're in this five of, I'm sorry, not the five of wands. Now you're in this Hierophant energy where you're getting back into like a structured moral place. Like you're good. I, I, somehow you got it within you to get stable. Usually the Hierophant doesn't represent stability, but because it's like, it, it feels very formal. So it's like a, a certain belief system or something, getting back to traditional beliefs, whatever you were in before, seems like it was not healthy because you needed to leave it and now coming back to like what is right for you some type of standard of living okay what is you know the rules that's what it feels like conforming to a certain standard or structure or rules now the hierophant can represent marriage so some of you might be like really in this position today where it's like you know what 
I still want to be married or I, uh, you know, I just left a relationship and now I'm just kind of like getting back into committing to self if you don't want to be married again. Um, but it feels to me like this is on the table, the center of the reading. Marriage is on the table for you. Structured, formal, traditional, committed relationship is, is where you're at right now. Or, I don't know if you're seeking that or you're just attracting that to you or being more being open to it okay realigning yourself to your belief systems let's take a look i'm going to get a clarifying card okay six of pentacles well <laughs> this is a card about sharing sharing your beliefs with other people. So I feel like if you're talking to somebody new or you're trying to meet other people or just putting yourself out there, you're, you know, it's not easy for you. I feel like whatever you were in before with someone, you really don't, it's hard for you to talk about it. Um, the truth, but it's, it, you're in this place where you, you're kind of like sharing with people or a significant other, but you're or talking to someone to get clarity. It's difficult for you to do that, but it's a challenge. But I feel like you're also in this position of gaining more clarity about something that maybe you recently or at some point in the past ended, okay? But I do feel like you understand that marriage or a committed relationship comes with giving and taking. It's a sharing journey. It's not one takes all and never gives in return. I feel like you might be kind of realigning yourself to that belief system again, um, based on what you were in. And for some of you, this is like a very holy thing or a very religious thing. Some of you might have just, you know, said, that's it. I'm going back to Jesus. He's the only one who's not cheating on me. And he's the only one that's not abusing me. <laughs> so some of you are, you know, like, I'm, I'm marrying Jesus. I'm heaven, Lord above, just take me. It's just you and me. We're good. You know, I don't need anybody else. I'm fine. I can trust you. And, the, and, and for some of you, that might be a journey that you're on, you know, um, some kind of journey that you're on at this time. You're seeking clarity. And I feel like it has a lot to do with something that you were in the past, right? There, This was like you had to face your fears and leave something, Virgo. You know, not all of you are going to Jesus, of course. You could just be getting like some angel clarity or whatever it might be, just seeking some truth in your life at this time. And, you know, you're trying to slice through the clouds here to figure out what path you want to go on, what direction you're going at this time. And this was something that was meant to happen in the past, the Six of Swords. This was something that you needed to go through. You needed to make some kind of like self-sacrifice. It was a sacrifice for yourself. Something, you know, be responsible, be loyal to yourself. Start appreciating yourself because I feel like you weren't feeling that way in the past by another person. Maybe you felt that way about yourself, but somebody wasn't appreciating you and that kind of made you question yourself in the past you may have even gone down the road of like questioning your self-worth or asking yourself is it me uh, virgo it's not you okay it's not you um anybody that's not appreciating you actually is not appreciating themselves okay um because when we love ourselves we're able to love other people um so what's going on here you've got the tower driving this reading this is like crash and burn this is a major upheaval in your love life that's happening here and i feel like this is a massive change that you are undertaking at this time in your life things are breaking down you're burning down the city you're burning down the house not it's figuratively not literally you're burning down the house you're you're burning everything down to the ground because you just want to, you know, you want to start over, clean the slate, clear the slate and start over in your life and have a new beginning. And, and it's hard for you, Virgo, because you're, you're, you're just kind of like, it's not time yet fully, 
okay? But you're seeking reciprocity with someone. You're seeking the sharing and the giving and the generosity uh, between two people. You know, you giving and someone giving in return. That give and take energy. It's a nice flowing. It's a dance. You're seeking that and to have that in your life. And I don't feel like you were having that. I feel like somebody perhaps in the past may have just cut you out or shut you out and abandoned the connection and just left. Maybe this person, maybe you were together and then uh, they went back to where they lived, um, that kind of thing. Or somebody moved out if you were living together. Okay, let's take a look at this tower card. Okay, the world, wow, yeah. Turning a new leaf here, Virgo. Starting over, closing the book on the past and, and starting a new chapter, okay? <clears throat> For some of you, it, it feels like your world is, is crashing down on you at this time. For others, you, you know, you're managing to kind of glide through, you know, it just depends. But, you know, I, I feel like what's happening here is like, the whole world's on fire and you're just letting things burn, just letting the chips fall where they may, just allowing things to be so because you're just kind of like ready to start over in your life here. All right, let's take a look. Yep, the sun. Ooh, it's hot. It is hot, hot, hot. This fire that you're lighting, these fires, it's hot. You're going to set the world on fire. Look at the sun here. Self-love, totally. Unconditional love for self and others. Joy, happiness, success, positivity. You know, Virgo, that this is the path that you're on. You know you will be successful. I see it here for you. A joyous outcome. This is what you're seeking. This is why you're... It's kind of like a controlled burn. That's how I feel so that you can have new growth. That's how I feel is going on. Now you could be living somewhere where there's fires uh, right now and you're having to start over. Let's take a look here. What is the Queen of Cups here for? Okay, Seven of Cups. Some of you could have been involved with a water sign, male or female. This person was non-committal um, and living in fantasy land. And for others, you might have fantasized about this person. Maybe you still have thoughts or dreams about this person. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but this is someone who's very emotional, but um, not really an aggressive person, just everything they do. Like if... I just heard, if their ship had turbines, are turbines in a ship? A boat in the water, whatever makes the boat go. <laughs> it's like... It's propelled by emotions, the water, you know what I mean? The water is what makes this ship move. So in other words, this person, whomever you're thinking of, or whoever this person was, like very emotional, probably very moody, up and down, back and forth, their moods change a lot. Um, always in a very emotional place, but they did have a caring side to them possibly a caring sign that like I said it don't have to be a water sign but it's just someone maybe in a little more of a feminine energy um they just had a, like a nurturing caring side but kind of like not very realistic just kind of always had their head up in the clouds and that kind of made you like that the, dreamy I just heard they just said tell them dreamy a dreamy type of a person someone who lives in dreamland someone who lives in la la land just kind of like but non can never commit to anything because dreams are not tangible right dreams are up in the clouds right and maybe you got in that position with this person but this person is might still be on your mind okay um and that might be more like residual because it's all up in your head kind of it's like what's left over that kind of energy if there's anything left over now you know if you're just kind of recently getting out of something that's par for the course but let's take a look there's some type of new start happening here um like the third week of july the fool the leap of faith a new adventure beginning let's take a look and see what this is uh oh <laughs> well you've got a, a love offer coming in close close to the end of august did i say july did i say the third week of july if i did for 
some of you, I don't know what that's about. That might be resonating for you in some way. The third week of July. What happened the third week of July? Some type of love offer. Maybe you met somebody the third week of July. Um, okay, anyway, I'm just going to leave that there. Leave a comment below if something happened during that week. But this feels more closer to the end of August. There's like a Knight of Cups energy coming in here. There's a love offer. Now, if you're talking to some, like, I don't see anybody. I mean, you could be talking to a water sign. Now, I don't know if that's the person from the past or this is somebody new coming in. I, I don't see some, it could be an Aquarius. All right, I'm just going to say some of you, there's an Aquarius coming forward that's going to propose or they're going to reach out, offer their love, be romantic towards you. Okay. Let me see something here. Hmm. Three of Cups. There's a friend. There's a friend. You might meet this person through your friends. But I'm going to have to put this out there. Some of you, there's a reconciliation happening here. That's what this three is, This this the reunion. So this might be your person coming back in here, taking a leap of faith. Now, this is not going to be for all of you. I know. I know. Some of you are like, that's not even possible, or it's not going to happen, but, and that's fine. It could be for somebody else here, so let them have the reading. I, I can't hit every single person, but if it doesn't resonate for you, that's fine. For some, if that doesn't, if it's not your past person, it's definitely somebody new coming in, okay? Someone from out of town, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> my gosh, or someone um, coming from out of town to visit or traveling, okay? Um, this person, it could be a planned thing between you and this person, or it could just be like they show up, they just show up or you meet them like by kismet. For others, this is your person coming back in. Whatever is going on the end of August, I see love coming in. Now your advice here, <clears throat> oh my goodness, you have the two of wands. So uh, don't do anything, Virgo. You're in this position of like, wait, you have a choice you have to make, but you have to wait because <clears throat> you're still at a crossroads, Virgo. Let me see here. What else for your advice, Virgo? Okay, yeah, Je uh, another balance card. The twos always represent um, balance. So this is about partnership, a win-win situation, being fair, um, the truth coming out. You got to wait for the truth. That's what I just he heard. Your, adv your advice right now. Your advice is to seek a solution to something, but your advice is to wait for some kind of truth. Well, you got to wait for a verdict. Something's coming in your favor that you've been wanting and hoping to happen, and you just have to, you just have to like, when the verdict comes in, whatever it is, once it comes in, then you can make your decision. You won't have to wait any longer. But you got to wait until that comes in before you can move forward with something. I'm not exactly sure. This could be a legal decision. It could be marriage. It could be a divorce. Oh, wow. The tower again. Huh. Right next to each other. It feels like, you know, major arcana cards, like what you have here, the sun, the tower, and the world, this is not really a decision, really. That I feel like you made a decision to move on. But this is not really a decision that you're making. This is like you're being moved and pressed because life is having its way with you with starting over like it's almost as if you have no other choice what's happening here and your thoughts and crowding down on you and thinking about somebody um that's you doing that but this hierophant sitting in the middle of your reading here this is like you're being forced to either go back to god <laughs> Or some of you need to go back to church on Sundays. Or it's you're being forced to take a look at your belief system. 
like regroup and say to yourself, okay, what are the rules here? Seek some kind of counseling or mentorship or coaching or something from someone. And maybe even um, you might have to dole out a little bit of money or charity because this can be charity or something. You're seeking truth. Truth. You're seeking truth and, and you're being called to go get the truth. But there is somebody coming in here. Okay. A leap of faith is being taken. Now, this tower. So what I was getting at, as I backtracked here, there is a verdict coming in. There is some truth coming in. And what that is, is there's going to be some unwanted change, but it will be for the best for you. Okay. It will be in your favor, this change. It's not going to be comfortable, this change that comes through here. A um, bit of upheaval. You may be anticipating or waiting for that to come in. Is it fear-based? Um, I don't feel like it's fear-based. But it, it might be that you're thinking that things aren't going to work out. And... You might be waiting, I just heard, waiting for the other shoe to drop. But you're not sure what decision you got to wait to see what's going to play out. I feel like both are going to play out. I feel like things are just going to, like the lightning bolt comes down and it just blows the top off of everything. There might be something legal happening here for some of you. That's It's like... A shocker. It's like a shocker. And you might be waiting for that. Okay. There's some kind of result. Some of you are waiting for a paternity test or to get some kind of results for like a pregnancy or a paternity test. I just heard. Okay. Um, or uh, 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 legal information on a home or some insurance money or something. It's very interesting. I'm not sure if it's connected to what's going on here, but I do feel like um, for some of you that that is something that's going on. Okay. Either way, whatever's coming down the line, you can't do anything just yet. You can't make any decision just yet. Now, what's external to you? Another person here, the Hierophant. So somebody's keeping very quiet. Oh, Eight of Swords and the Queen of Cups again. Okay, so I don't know who this Queen of Cups is, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, but um, if this is your past person, they're not saying too much right now, in the present, okay? Are they coming forward? Possibly. Could be a Pisces for some of you with an actual offer or reunion. Um, um, for somebody, like if the new person, Aquarius, but this person is, is really like mentally trapped with the eight of swords this person um is like in self-imposed prisoner it, they're in restrictions isolation imprisonment they're not saying anything they're keeping very quiet there's a hush energy with the high priestess this person is stuck right now there's there's no they're not doing anything oh my gosh now we have the King of Cups. There's so much water energy. Look at this. Hmm. This person might be in another relationship this time with somebody. They're not saying anything about it. Um, but I feel like they're stuck with this person. I don't even know what the heck that means. Or it's the feminine and masculine in one person, okay, for some of you. Nine of Cups, wow. Yeah, okay, so if you know that your person is with someone or you have a hunch they are and they're indulging in this person, but this relationship is really unsatisfying. It's just kind of, it's a codependent kind of thing. 
nine of cups is like really indulging oh this is a wish this person might be involved with somebody else and making it telling themselves that that other person is a wish come true for them but it's really just to because they're in this eight of uh, swords energy because they're like they're isolated they're like this is a card of really low self-esteem this is like the victim card you know um it's very bizarre i don't really feel like your person's all that happy there with whomever they're with okay here's the empress they could be with a libra or a taurus um there's a lot of people all right um i just they just gave me tell them also um that for others this is something going on with their parents there's something happening with parents or a sister and a brother and a mother this person might be stuck at home with some family at this time stuck at home with family members and they can't get out of anything but they're not communicating why is this person like gone silent or keeping quiet virgo hmm. they're waiting for something to change they're waiting for they can't move yet they're waiting for something to move or to change i'm getting off this energy because it's really creepy it's not creepy but it's just bizarre the messages that are coming through they're waiting for the right time to say something to you and it might be if it's them it's this to come in with this knight of cups energy okay um hopes and fears well virgo you're definitely hoping to have like a very secure stable uh partnership marriage committed relationship you know something where like there's a home and a fence and you know something good and well built and solid with someone like that virgo i really feel like that's what you're seeking to have you know family children pets you know neighbors community um maybe some of you are really focusing on your business and building the foundations of a business some of you might be moving your business into a brick and mortar um, for others you might be moving out of that and working from home um, these are your hopes you, your your fear is that things will come crumbling down so you're really focused on the foundation and structure in all areas of your life career your love life your relationships things like that that's what you're hoping for uh, solidarity in partnerships okay i do feel like there's love coming in here there for you though i do um the outcome looks good because you have the wheel of fortune so there's a turning point here there's some um, whatever you put out into the world especially in the month of august starting from this point on whatever good stuff you put out there it's going to come back to you okay the wheels are in motion right things are all the good that you it's it's not even <clears throat> i think even like with physics it's impossible to throw a ball up in the air and not have it come down it's impossible for all the good things that you've put out there for them not to come back to you all the good that you put up out there into the world right when you look up and you pray and you wish the best for people and all the good that you put out there it has to, it always comes back around it does and it comes back threefold even more so i feel like virgo i mean for all that the suffering that you've had in your life and the struggles that you've had i know you're like well how come you know i see this person's gone through the like you can't compare what other people some people some people put on a lot of front like they 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 put out really bad energy and but they make it look like they have really a really great life you know it, be careful never judge a book by its cover but i feel like if you know that you've been putting out really good energy and you've been kind and you've been patient and generous and loving and warm despite the things that you've gone through in the past or if you had to leave a relationship or somebody forced you to leave a connection or relationship it's going to come back to you the end of august i really feel like there's going to be a big shift and a big change here i don't know 
I don't really, I feel like your person is in this deep, um, like checking their intuition, the gut feelings. That's what the high priestess does. You know, she's real psychic, uh, male or female, it doesn't matter. And she really goes in and intuits the messages here. Because I feel like this person is definitely in this place of trying to make changes within here which is what the Wheel of Fortune is. Um, having some kind of turning point. This person might be gambling a lot too. I don't know. That, that, but definitely looking at codependency. They might not even realize that they have this codependency thing. They're definitely very positive about you. But I mean, if they were abusive in the past and you actually had to leave the relationship because of abuse, it really doesn't matter what they're doing. Um, you know, they very well could be getting some help for these things. But I know a lot of you are like, well, I hope that they do. And you wish them well. But the highlight of this reading in the like towards the end of um, August is you've got some you've got you're going to meet someone through friends. OK, um, <laughs> you are. And there's going to be romance, a little bit of um, prince or princess charming. Um, it could even possibly be, it would be very weird to meet someone on not like at the end of the month and then all of a sudden they're proposing marriage, it, but it's very flirtatious energy. So you may, it may come, but you may, it might just make you feel really good. I feel like it's a lot of fun at the end of August for you. Just, you know, out with your friends, your circle of support and having a really good time and somebody specific coming in, just bringing you flowers and buying you drinks or flirting with you and having fun and really making you feel good. Um, that might just be something that you need at this time if somebody left you and you just may not want to get serious with anybody, but maybe just that attention might be nice, good for your self-esteem a little bit there, Virgo. Um, and for others, it could be your person. Um, and you... You got some stuff going on here because I feel like you'd be at a crossroads with that. Is this person coming in with like the truth is coming out or are they coming in to destroy the world that I just destroyed? <laughs> to Like, to, you know, I just destroyed the past and I'm starting over. Are they coming in to destroy that? That's why I said you got to wait and see if this is somebody new for you at the end of the month or if this is your, par your past person. All right. Um, I'm going to skip the love messages here because... We have a couple already. Um, let's get some charms. Let's get right into the charms. Okay. So we have a fishbone. Okay, I don't know if you've ever been to a restaurant called Fishbone. You may be going there or you may meet somebody if you're at that restaurant. Um, or maybe you like, maybe you're eating fish or... Um, <laughs> you're looking at like your your cat has cat food with a fishbone on it there's also a band called fishbone i don't even i remember them from a long time ago but i don't know if they're even still around maybe something to do with the band i don't know any of their songs i just remember that name because i thought it was really bizarre um some of you also have been working on your health and you've lost a ton of weight and now you're just like all bones so i mean Good for you. Just be careful. Make sure you put a little muscle and meat on your, your body there. Um, if you're not eating enough or you're just dropping weight a lot from maybe a relationship that ended and you're losing too much weight, you want to be healthy. You want to have that muscle and you want to have some thickness on you because that's really, really healthy for you. Um, also, there's a palm tree here. So you might live, palm tree with coconuts, actually. So you might live near a place or live in an area where there's palm trees. You're visiting somewhere where there's palm trees or the person you're connected with is connected to that area as well. Um, I just heard that. What is that weird? That I just heard, they said, tell them, I have a lovely bunch of coconuts. I don't know what that means. I have a lovely bunch of coconuts okay we'll leave it and then we've got a butterfly so transformation transformation you might see a butterfly somewhere you've come out of your cocoon you've morphed you have Virgo. you're on a really good path right now keep 
keep trucking virgo keep moving forward this path you're on um oh that now so now they gave me a song a song song a real look <laughs> i just heard a song in my head from disney um i forget the name of of the movie the song is called a whole new world is it from the prince prince no not prince uh a whole new world i can show you the world on a magic carpet ride that song you're welcome. You are, yes, I should take up singing. That should have been my career. But they said, tell them that song, to listen to that song. I know yesterday I gave you Def Leppard, so stuff just comes out. But yeah, they said, tell them, listen to that song, A Whole New World. I don't know. You've got a whole new world. Look at you. You've got, okay. Jumping the broom. I just heard jumping the broom. I believe that's a saying. Um, something to do with marriage. Some of you are definitely getting a proposal at the end of August. Oh my goodness. Virgo, if your birthday's at the end of August, this is going to be a nice birthday gift for you. Um, and for others, you're just sweeping out all the crap off the floor, all the dust, cleaning house. Okay. Um, <laughs> now I just heard something to do with a witch with this broom and I have no are you a witch Virgo are you witchy <laughs> did you give up your broom something going on maybe you're sweeping right now and listening to music you might be cleaning and listening to this video okay and my singing is music to your ears I know I know all right Virgo I'm gonna leave your uh, reading there please do hit like share and subscribe if you enjoy this reading click link below if you'd like to get personal reading from me and I'll see you guys very soon love you bye